Hey everybody, Scott Boda with Steed Autosports here to talk to you about the top five drag racing mods to do to your Ford Mustang to get the most out of it when you hit the 1320 and get a world record breaking performer like the Steed of Silver Bullet. So we're gonna go into detail not the top five parts you need to get your car going down the 1320, but the top five steps in order of what's gonna make the drag strip more enjoyable for you. The last thing you wanna do is add a bunch of horsepower and now you're smoking the tires of the track and I can't get this thing to launch, it's, it's not doing, how do I have 800 horsepower and I'm running tens. So these are the orders based off of more than three decades of experience, not only Steeda's experience, but my personal experience to maximize your time and your enjoyment out of your Mustang when you go to your drag strip. The number one mod when you go to the drag strip with your Mustang is the driver mod. You gotta understand what you're doing. And that starts with the basics. It's tire pressure. You gotta make sure you got your tire pressure dialed in. We like to jack up the front tire pressure to about 50, 55 pounds. This goes for skinnies, this goes for stock, stock tires. You want to basically have the least amount of rolling resistance possible. You also want to lower the rear tire pressure, even on stock tires. Lower them to about 22 to 24 PSI. Drag radials, you're in the 17 to 21 pound range. Slicks, you could drop them all the way down to about 12, 13, 14 pounds but you want to set your tire pressure. The next thing is, is getting heat in those tires. I don't care if it's slick, drag radial, or a bone stock Pirelli. I've never experienced a tire that does worse without a little heat in them. So roll in that burnout box and do a good smoky burnout. Two, three seconds, pull it out. You want to break down that rubber so it's providing optimum traction when you go to launch your hot rod. Speaking of launching your hot rod, you gotta stage the car properly. What that is, is it's lighting up the bulbs on the Christmas tree. Now we're not talking about heads up racing here or bracket racing. We're talking about trying to get the best possible elapsed time out of your hot rod. That means staging it shallow. You're gonna light up the first bulb and you're gonna wanna tickle that second bulb. There's about a six inch difference between the first bulb and the second bulb and you wanna be as shallow as possible. What does that mean? That means we're actually trying to make the drag strip longer. Well, if it's longer, we're gonna go slower. No, we're gonna get a head start on that Christmas tree. It's going to allow us that six inch rollout before we start the elapsed time. That is going to give you a quicker ET every single time. Okay, the number two mod for getting the most out of your car at the drag strip is wheels and tires as we like to call it on the internet, the drag pack. That means a nice set of skinny tires in the front and a nice set of sticky tires for the rear. Why? Because it doesn't matter how much horsepower you get, if you can't put that horsepower to the ground with a good tire, you're just gonna be up in smoke. So, for street cars, we like nothing better than our friends over at Nitto Tire. You drive your car a lot on the street, Nitto Tires will give you excellent performance in the rain and on the street and really good drivability. Now if it's more of a drag race car, like our Steeda Silver Bullet, absolutely nothing works better at the drag strip than a Mickey Thompson drag radio. Now the thing, the drawback with the Mickey Thompson is it doesn't have as good street manners as the Nitto tire. So if it's more of a drag race oriented car, Mickey Thompson. If it sees a lot of street duty with the occasional trips to the track, Nitto tire is your tire to go to. But by doing that, what we're gonna do is take advantage of the horsepower. Even if it's the factory 425 horsepower, we're gonna be able to try to get that to the ground and get the best elapsed time possible. The reason why you see skinny tires on these cars is less rolling resistance, less weight, a thinner tire, less contact patch, the quicker it's gonna go down the track each and every time. And just like we were mentioning in the first modifications, we like to also jack the air pressure up 50, 55 pounds on those front tires. Once again, less rolling resistance. We're gonna trip the beams a little quicker and it's gonna get you that quicker lap sign every single time. 
All right, the number three modification for getting the most out of your car when you take it to the drag strip is going to be the rear suspension. Now the newer cars have come a long way. Even when the IRS was first, we first heard rumors in 2013 that the 2015 model was coming out with an IRS. Me, us drag racers, we were scared to death for knocked it out of the park. Now there's obviously a lot of things you can do to help that rear subframe, our seat alignment dolls, IRS bushing supports, and our ever popular IRS braces really do help benefit these cars and get the most out of going down the track. Now the Fox body cars, they were an absolute nightmare. Back in the days, you'd add some Lakewood traction bars and they'd slap the rear of the car, try to pop some wheelies. There was a lot of deflection back there. That is what we're trying to eliminate by adding some rear suspension to these cars. The Fox bodies, it's uppers and lower control arms. Get yourself a lightweight K member, maybe some shocks and struts. Really try to harness the power. Same basic principles as this. Some vertical links, toe links, help keep the toe from moving, or IRS braces. Basically, you could have all the horsepower in the world, but if you don't have a tire, and if that whole IRS subframe is moving around underneath these cars, you are not gonna get the most out of your combination. And let's face it, that's what we're talking about here. How to absolutely get the most out of your car when you're going down the 1320. So anything from 79, to newer Fox bodies, all the way up to the 2020 S550 Mustangs. Steeda has got the suspension parts that'll get you going down the 1320 and the 60 feet quicker than anybody. And at the same time, we're not gonna ruin your car. No permanent modifications, no increase in NVH, uh, great ride compliance. And you know what? Our Steeda Pro Action adjustable shocks that we run here on the world record breaking Silver Bullet can be used at the autocross and at the road course. Now I know most of us don't like to do that sort of thing, but hey, it's a great all around shock. I'll put it up against anything in the market. The numbers prove it. We've been 138 to the 60 foot on this car. Our good friend Nick out there at Paramount Speed has been a record breaking 119 to it at the 10 R80 with Whipple Power out there in Texas. And my personal Fox body, it's been going 120, 60 foots on the back tires for over a decade. So remember, Steeda's where speed matters, and when you're looking for suspension, there's no better choice. All right, number four modification for getting the most out of your Mustang going down the 1320. We've talked about the driver mod, we've talked about the drag pack, we've introduced the suspension, what it means to the car. Now, what everybody loves, horsepower. You cannot get enough of it. But without those basic fundamentals, you can have 800 horsepower. In fact, you can have a Hellcat, right? Flies. We'll mop it up all day long with the silver bullet because of those basic fundamentals in the first three steps. Now, horsepower. What can we do to get the most horsepower? We got our Steeda cold air intakes. Simple things, cold air intakes, long tube headers, exhaust. Our Steeda X pipes and H pipes that we can't seem to keep on the shelf. Great modification. Uh, not only does it improve the horsepower and the sound, but it puts a smile on your face every single time you get in that car. Then you can get a little bit more aggressive. We could go nitrous or turbos or blowers. Our good friends at Whipple that we put on all of our Steve McQueen cars or Vortec or even John Uris and the guys at Hellion. Make some horsepower, make some noise. Now you're really going to be starting chopping down those ETs and, uh, you know, getting into those single digits when you hit the drag strip. So horsepower uh, is what I would do after you get those basic fundamentals because without those basic fundamentals, like I said, you can have an 800 horsepower Hellcat, but if you can't get that power to the ground, you're gonna get mopped up at the 1320. So focus on the fundamentals, then let's start applying the horsepower. Now you can really see every single step you make, those ETs get lower and lower. All right, here's the last step, step five, for getting the most out of your car going down the drag strip. We talked about the driver mod, the drag pack, we got suspension, we've had some horsepower, but we want to go a little faster. What can we do? My goodness, we've done everything. Weight management, and that means exactly what, it, what I said. We got to try and get some weight out of the car, right? At Steeda, we always say weight is the enemy of performance. So you always see lightweight wheels on drag cars, why? 
because you're gonna save 50, 60 pounds, right? So Billet Specialties hooked us up with a sweet set of wheels for the Silver Bullet. Not only do they look good, but they perform even better going down the track. Then you're gonna look at the brakes, right? Bear, Bear has an awesome set of brakes for these S550s, saves over 100 pounds. That's right, 100 pounds off this car just by changing the brakes. Then you can get into some more exotic stuff. Anderson Composite, lightweight hood, saves eight pounds. Rear deck lid, saves 12. Then you can go optic armor windshields, back windows. That's another 21 pounds of savings. Then you can go a rear seat delete from our friend Jason Lopez or at CM Components, save an additional 20, 25 pounds getting rid of the rear seat. Let's face it, you can't put anybody in the back seat that's taller than four foot eight in the back of an S550 Mustang. So weight management, Steeda lightweight K member, saves up to 25 pounds off of the nose of the car. Still keeps a lot of structural integrity. You're not even gonna know it's on the car, even if you're driving it on the street. For you road racer guys, we got our Steeda road race K member. So weight management is one of those things that you really want to try to do to try to get your car to that next level. There's only a certain amount of horsepower you can add, right? You do the cams, you do the cylinder heads, but to take it to the next level, you want to try to pull as much weight as possible off of your hot rod. And uh, it is definitely one of the key ingredients to the world breaking silver bullet. Uh, it's held the record now for a year at 994, and uh, everybody's wondered, why haven't you gone to the strip again? What have you been doing? Well, I've been polishing the wheels and doing a little other things, working with Circle D, one of our good supporters on a torque converter. But uh, stay tuned because we are gonna have some updates that are gonna blow your mind. What this thing is capable of still being NA. If you wanna learn more or see more content, click the subscribe button, follow Steed on Instagram, all of our social channels. And remember, if you wanna build a car just like the Silver Bullet, We've got the ingredients right there on our website, steeda.com, where speed matters. We've been doing this for a long time, even back to the Fox Buy days. There's no one else in the industry you can trust more than Steeda Autosports. Remember guys, where speed matters.